Hello, my name is Emilio Romero, and today I'm going to be talking about the history of video game difficulties. There are so many games that struggle between the balance of baby mode, challenging, and frustrating. Video games has a long history of difficulty spikes and gamers' enjoyments. The first game that was invented was in early 1958, but something as simple as classic games from tennis and games that were the exact same until 1970s Pong. Fast forward into the 1980s where simple games like sports were still being made to be played at home, but the invention of the supermodels was spreading like wildfire across the country. With the invention of the arcade coming out, in order to compete with the console games, the qual graphics quality skyrocketed. They would make games look easy and simple, but they were made to kill you fast and eat up your quarters. And the people loved it. A prime example of this is Pac-Man. The level design never changes throughout the entire game, but the difficulty spikes every single level you complete. And as you reach the 18th level, the power pellet no longer works. Then in the mid-80s, we can see the focus shifting back towards the consoles, with the NES game starting to take the structures of having set amount of stages, and with this change, the role of difficulty is transformed. Now the challenge becomes, how do we stretch out a 30-minute game into something that will take months to complete? Where they put non-stop enemies and make impossible jumps and difficulties for the players not to enjoy. Now moving forward into early 2000s, we can continue and the games continue to make it more approachable for the gamers to play. As the developers found out that gamers actually like being able to win. Red Dead Redemption 2 is a great example of modern day games where the game automatically aims for you and the horse can steer itself. The game basically plays itself, and despite all this, it was the most critically acclaimed game of the year. But the trouble of making a game isn't a deathmatch or playing itself is a line of both. Selectable difficulties are commonly achieved by simply giving enemies more health and damage. Halo 3 is the first game in the series to tell the gamers that heroic difficulty is the game is how the game is meant to be experienced. Ideally, a game should get progressively harder as you play, but reality is all over the place. All of the other worst things that older games do when you lose is has zero checkpoints. It will kick you out to the very start of the game if you die. Even some of the hardest NES games titles like Castlevania only brings you back to the beginning of the stage. And having to replay over and over certain parts of the game can discourage a gamer and ruin the pacing of the game. What brings to true sense of accomplishment is like the 1980s arcade games. It's not about necessarily beating the game, but mastering it. And in conclusion, the thing about difficult games is they tend to grow on the gamer. But the challenge is to make them so exciting or rather the artistry behind it. Thank you very much for listening to this, and that's my stick on difficulty changes in games.